Solving equations with variables on both sides. When we're solving equations with variables on both sides, our first step needs to be to get all the variables on one side of the equation. Doesn't matter which side of the equation, but we need to get them all together on one side of the equation. Let's take a look at this first example. We have 5x plus 8 equals 7x. I have x here and I have an x over here. I need to get them all together. Let's get rid of the 5x. <clears throat> and the reason I do this is because it's with something else and this x is all by itself. So if I bring all the x's over here, I'll just have one more step in order to finish solving the problem. I could bring the 7x over here, but then I had to have to get rid of the other stuff that's with the x. You want to get the variable as close to by itself as possible, as quick as possible. So, we're going to subtract 5x from both sides because we had a positive 5x there. These cancel out and we bring down what we have left. 8 equals 7x minus 5x is 2x. Now this should look familiar. We have 2 times x, the opposite of multiplication is division, so we're going to divide by 2 on both sides of our equation. Bring down what we have. 8 divided by 2 is 4 equals these twos cancel out and we're left with just x. Let's take a look at another example. In this one we have 4w plus 8 equals 6w minus 4. Now we could get rid of the 4w, we could get rid of the 6w, it doesn't matter, but I would like to get rid of the smaller thing and in doing so try and make sure that my variable isn't going to become negative. For example, if I were to subtract 6w from 4w, then I would end up with negative 2w. I prefer to keep my variables positive if possible, so I'm going to subtract 4w from both sides of my equation. So we have minus 4w and minus 4w. Bring down what we have left. The 4w's cancel out. We have 8 equals... 6w minus 4w is 2w minus 4. Now, this should look familiar. We've got the 2w minus 4. Well, here's our variable. We want to get it by itself. First thing we need to do is start with this part. Get rid of the minus 4. How do we get rid of a minus 4? Well, we do the opposite. Add 4. So plus 4 on both sides. Bring down what we have. 8 plus 4 is 12 equals, this is canceled out, bring down the 2w to get that. Our last step, we need to divide by 2 on both sides. Divide by 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6 equals w. Last one right over here. We've got parentheses going on. So when we see parentheses, remember that property that we should think about, the distributive property. Our first step is going to be to distribute the numbers that are out front of the parentheses through the parentheses to get rid of them. So we take our 6 and we're going to multiply it by g and we're going to multiply it by 3. So we have 6g plus 6 times 3 is 18 equals, then we're going to do the same thing with this negative 2, multiply it by g multiply it by negative 31. Negative 2 times g is negative 2g. Negative 2 times positive 31 gives us minus 62. Now we're here. <clears throat> we want to get all the g's together. We've got g's over here and g's over here. Let's get rid of these negative g's by doing the opposite. So we're going to add 2g. Add 2g over here. Bring down what we have. 6g plus 2g is 8g plus 18 equals negative 62. Next, we want to get that g by itself, remember, so we need to get rid of this plus 18. To do that, we're going to subtract 18 from both sides of our equation. Bring down what we have left. 8g plus 18 minus 18 cancels out equals negative 62 minus 18. We're 62 in the hole, we're going 18 more in the hole, that gives us negative 80. 
Okay. Now we're here. Last step. Divide by 8. Wool sides, because that's the opposite of times 8. Bring down. Our answer is G equals negative 80 divided by 8 is negative 10. Now, remember I said that you can also get rid of the variable on this side in this particular problem. In all problems where there's variables on both sides, you can get rid of either one. It doesn't matter, but um, you can oftentimes avoid going into the negatives if you do it a certain way. Let's just take a look at this problem again, but rather than getting rid of the 4w, let's get rid of the 6w and just see how the problem compares and how we end up with the same answer, or we should. 4w plus 8 equals 6w minus 4. I want to get rid of the 6w, so I'll do minus 6w from both sides. 4w minus 6w is negative 2w plus 8 equals negative 4. Now my w is over here, so I'm going to get rid of this plus 8. We do that by doing the opposite, minus 8. Both sides bring down what we have left, negative 2w equals negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. Then our last step, get that w by itself, divide by negative 2 both sides we end up with w equals 6 same answer but here we ended up with those negatives that we had to keep track of either way works just remember that one way might be a tiny bit easier but you'll develop those things as you do more and more of these problems so variables on both sides first step make sure you get all the variables together on one side after that you're going to follow the steps that we've used in previous um, sections.